So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my watercolor channel. Today I just feel so happy, so grateful and so fortunate because tomorrow is my birthday. I am turning 36 and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a very special content. This is something new because today I'm going to be sharing with you my watercolor birthday wish list. Before anything else, I'd like to clarify that the goal of this video is just to really share with you guys the list of my desired art materials. I think it's fun and at the same time interesting to share this list. We may find some common interests in certain items and I'm also very interested to knowing your personal wish items. So the comment section is open for sharing. I do not intend to solicit anything from you guys except for your time in watching my videos. But of course, I appreciate co-artists, friends, and some companies who willingly send their items for reviews or just anything from their hearts. I have more than enough items to use, but as a professional art materials explorer, um, hoarder, pigment nerd, whatever you call it, I'm always thirsty for more items to discover, to explore, and to review, and to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's begin. First on my list is the Da Vinci watercolors from US. In 2018, I have built a 24 color set of Da Vinci, but time was really quick. During the pandemic, I have sold it in pan sets without having them reviewed. Getting the Da Vinci paints is not easy because the only shipping option to the Philippines is through DHL, which costs at least 60 US dollars plus you'll have to pay for the tax of the paints which is around 25 to 30 percent. I was fortunate before that both my cousin and friend were going back to the Philippines so the shipping fee was free. Now I'd like to build another set for a proper review and their 37 ml tubes are I think the most economical option and that's what I prefer to get. By the way, Denise Sutton sent me dot samples of her Love Opacity set of Da Vinci watercolors and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Many thanks to Denise of course. At number 2 is Daniel Smith Gouache. I can hear you guys saying, Alan, this is gouache, not watercolor. <laughs> the debate is still on, but DS gouache is in my list. It's by Daniel Smith, so I'm curious, but I'm also a bit confused, or shall I say disappointed, not to see some important mixing colors in their range, but they may add some more colors in the future, who knows. At number 3, we have Kunakodon Gold PO49. This is a discontinued pigment and we all know that. But I still see some handmade paint makers offering this pigment. And I'm curious about the performance of their versions. Well, they're fortunate to have set aside stocks of this pigment and now they're harvesting the fruits. I do have a 5ml tube of the Queen Gold PO49 by Windsor Newton Professional, but I still want to see other versions, especially that of Daniel Smith's. At number 4, we have Utrecht. I know you know that I have already reviewed this brand some years ago. I have reviewed the landscape set and added two more colors to it. But I'd like to know the brand more. They have some interesting color selection, they are greatly rated by handprint.com, and they are very underdocumented. I believe till this day, my 2020 review is still the only review of Utrecht watercolors on YouTube. What I really love about their paints is that they're easy to use and they're definitely not intimidating. If I have to choose another set, I'd love to have their portrait set. At number 5, I have Jackson's Porcelain Palette with 32 wells. I already have the Jack Richardson Porcelain Palette that has 12 wells, but sometimes I long for a palette that has more wells and wider wells as well. <laughs> I first saw this palette at Denise Sodden's video and since then I've dreamt of having mine. The only thing that's stopping me, kinda, is its fragility. It's so big and I'm anxious it's so risky to ship from UK to the Philippines. At number 6, we have here Grumbacher Finest Artists Watercolors. I have reviewed the student grade counterpart which is the academy and I appreciate it. Now I'm still curious how the professional grade performs. The artist grade though is so expensive if I buy it 
here from a local supplier, so I am waiting for another chance. <laughs> if one of my friends from the US goes back home here in the Philippines, then I might get a set. At number 7, I have listed here Roman small brushes. I have three sets of Roman small watercolors and I also have hoarded some of their discontinued colors. But now I am more interested and curious about their brushes, particularly their Kolinsky portable brushes. For number 8, I have here the Fraser Price Brass Palette. I already have the classic brass palette India and I love it. But this still doesn't stop me from looking at other brass palettes. The Fraser Price may be just brass plated, but still it looks so good and so sleek. And it's more functional, I must say, as it has a water reservoir. Coming in at number 9, we have White Knight's Granulating Watercolors. Granulating colors are so in these days and there's no stopping on brands developing for the trend. Schmincke and Supervision followed the trend from Daniel Smith's Primatex and colors with separating pigments and now White Knights is boasting their granulating line with even better pricing. But sadly, these granulating colors are still far from reach, at least in my place. So this is staying and waiting here on my wish list. Are you excited for our number 10? Our number 10 is Rosa Watercolors from Ukraine. This is the brand I am currently most curious about. I have heard and seen great things about Rosa watercolors and they are not as expensive as many western brands. I can't really wait to include Rosa paints in my collection. There are sellers of it at AliExpress but I think the resellers there are overpricing it. So I hope soon we'll have more and better options to get the Rosa paints. And also, I pray that peace and order prevails in the affected areas in Ukraine. So, those are my top 10. I have runners-up, by the way, and they are the Jackson's watercolors that are rumored to be rebranded Zanelier paints and the Taylor Rowney professional watercolors. So, there you have it. That is my watercolor birthday wish list. Please let me know your thoughts about it and also I'd like to know your wishes too. Please let me know at the comment section. Again, this has been Alan and uh, thank you for staying till this part. See you on the next video and have a great week ahead. Bye-bye!